Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. When I saw this M5 stack, M5 stamp Pico, I got one right away. The M5 stamp kit is a cool package. It has flexible wiring options. It has support in UI flow at flow.stack.com. And the M5 stamp can work with many M5 stack modules. Let's see if we can make this work. I need to remove this sticker with the device MAC address. This way I can use the included Allen wrench to remove the plastic cover. I want the Grove port adapter for sure. This is interesting. I was heating up the soldering iron to solder these pins on, but these pins seem to fit so snugly I'm just going to press fit them for now. The plastic cover has this removable tab here to accommodate the Grove port. There, all the pins are attached now. Let's mount the plastic cover again. The case is solid and you can see the programmable button and RGB LED here. The sticker is cool, but I don't see how to affix it with the Grove port attached. We'll save the sticker for later. I missed out on the fact that M5 Stack has their own ESP32 downloader for the M5 stamp. So I'm going to have to make do here until my next order arrives. I'm using this 3.3 volt FTDI board. Let's look at the wiring for this FTDI board with the M5 stamp Pico. I had to remove the jumper from the voltage selector pins just to be able to read the tiny lettering on the pins here, but make sure to set the jumper to 3.3 volts if you haven't already. Wire the 3.3 volt pin from the FTDI to M5 stamp 3.3 volt. Ground goes to ground. TX on the FTDI goes to RX on the M5 stamp. RX on the FTDI goes to TX on the M5 stamp. Finally, while burning the firmware to the M5 stamp, you need to ground pin 0. However, this arrangement won't automate the uploading process on the M5 stamp like the ESP32 downloader does. Let's run M5 burner and flash the M5 stamp for UI flow. Select the correct serial port, download the UI flow firmware, click on burn. This is where you configure your Wi-Fi, SSID, and password so the M5 stamp can connect to the internet and UI flow. There, it's done. Now, the UI flow firmware is flashed to the M5 stamp. Then, I need to remove pin 0 from ground. You also have to power cycle the M5 stamp to reset, and the firmware is running now. I'm using Foxterm to read the serial output from the M5 stamp. Here in the output, you can see the API key that you need to use to connect the M5 stamp to UI flow on the internet. But sadly, the FTDI board is not putting out sufficient voltage to operate the M5 stamp. It just repeatedly detects brownout and reboots. Yeah, I tried different USB port on another PC and all the other 3.3 volt FTDI boards I have on hand and got the same result. I did confirm with M5 Stack that their ESP32 downloader does have sufficient power to operate the stamp. So you'll want to get the ESP32 downloader from M5 Stack with your M5 Stamp. I scratched my head a little while longer and then I remembered I have these 1000 mAh 3.7 volt LiPo batteries from my Helltech Laura adventures. I quickly mash up a battery cable with some DuPont jumpers, and the M5 stamp comes to life. Great! Now I can connect the M5 stamp to UI flow. Let's light up the RGB LED on the M5 stamp with all the colors of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, 
purple. This is the best part of M5 Stack in the UI Flow Web IDE. You can write the code and test run it without affecting the main program on the M5 stamp. Let's attach this OLED display module to the M5 stamp. This is why I wanted to have the Grow port attached to the stamp. Easy access to all the I2C based modules is facilitated with this Grove port. We'll do a little Hello World program. UI Flow makes it easy to attach different modules to the M5 stamp and write code quickly to get your project up and running. Expand the OLED node in UI Flow and see all the available commands for it. Drag and drop, set the display to black, push the text to the OLED at specific XY coordinates in the color white, then run the show command. Put some timers in there to control the pace of the program. Connect to the M5 stamp with UI Flow again and run the program. Our tiny M5 stamp has a way to communicate to the outside world now. This OLED display module is a pretty cool demonstration. This is fun. So I hope you enjoy learning about this M5 stamp and give it a try for yourself. Leave a comment below about what modules you want to connect to your M5 stamp. Give this video a like. And before you go on to watch one of these videos, please click on subscribe to help me keep making more videos. Thank you very much.